Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Home of Scott Selections here for Monday, August 23rd. Before we get into this play of the day, quick recap of what I mean. So we had a loss with the Astros, minus one and a half at plus 110 on DraftKings. Astros led two to nothing after seven innings, and then the bullpen fell apart. But to be honest, didn't really even matter because Houston was so awful with runners in scoring position that they just wasted so many opportunities. Houston went three for 16 by game's end with guys on in scoring position. So that kind of just sums up the game there. Houston forced Anderson into a lot of difficult spots, even the bullpen into a couple of difficult spots, and yet they constantly just stranded runners, and that was the story of the game. But either way, I still love the value at plus 110, and unfortunately it did not work out. But look for a bounce-back winner here on Monday. We're going to be looking at preseason football in the only game on the card, a Monday night game between the Jaguars and the Saints. And for the play that air, we're looking at the first half, and we like the Saints' first half minus three at minus 110 on DraftKings, a time recording of 137. A.M. Eastern Time. Coverings why I like the Saints in this spot. First of all, looking at the first preseason game for both teams, New Orleans looks significantly better. The Saints almost beat the Ravens on the road. Now, just a reminder, John Harbaugh has been undefeated in the preseason for about the last five years. So anytime you can come close to beating them, that definitely shows a lot of promise for your team. But the Saints lost by three on the road despite having six turnovers. So they played it terribly and yet still hung tough, and I think at home, they should look a lot sharper offensively with the ball security. Meanwhile, Jacksonville played at home against the Browns, who were benching basically everybody. Mayfield didn't play, Chubb didn't play, none of the main receivers played, and yet the Jaguars allowed the Browns' backup quarterbacks, Case Keenum and Kyle Lawletta, to combine for 319 passing yards, Once again, Baker Mayfield did not play. So Jacksonville's secondary got absolutely torched. They generated no pressure. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of holes on this Jaguars defense. It's one thing if you want to bring in an offensive mind like Urban Meyer to fix the offense. But when you had one of the worst defenses in the league last year and you really didn't do much to address it, I'm not surprised Jacksonville's defense has still been an absolute dumpster fire in preseason. And I do think that might hurt Jacksonville early on, especially since both teams have quarterback battles. I'm going to focus on the Saints right now because it fits the Jacksonville bad secondary narrative with the Saints still kind of dealing with who's going to start week one between Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill. I wouldn't be surprised to see Sean Payton call even more passing plays in the playbook just to actually see how accurate both of them are going to be with the ball, which could be a serious problem for Jacksonville because a lot of guys were wide open for Cleveland last week, and I do think that should lead to a pretty successful first half through the air by the Saints. But if you want to talk about the other end of the spectrum, you have Jacksonville's quarterback controversy between Lawrence and Minshew. Lawrence in the first game was okay. However, he was at home, and Cleveland once again was benching everybody. Now he travels to the Superdome in one of the toughest places to play. I know it's a preseason game and all, but we know New Orleans fans are nuts about football, and I do think you'll see a pretty packed crowd here for the first home preseason game of the year. I think Lawrence is going to look a little bit flustered. Minshew might look decent, but at the end of the day, I do think Winston and Hill should look sharper, and I think New Orleans should end up scoring a decent amount of points in the first half. Plus, if you want to actually talk about the fact that New Orleans does have the very big home field advantage, which I already alluded to, I do think that might help ease some nerves maybe between Winston and Hill that you might have seen in the first preseason game. I expect the turnovers to be more under control in this spot, and I think Jacksonville, with the noise, should struggle before potentially picking it up in the second half because the one thing, the reason why I like the first half and not the full game, is the fact that Luton and Bethard in the second half for Jacksonville were phenomenal in the second half from the from the quarterback position, while Ian Book was awful in the second half for the Saints. So I'm going to take that out of the equation. I'm simply going to back Winston and Hill versus Lawrence and Minshew, which is why I think there is value on the Saints' first half minus three at minus 110 on DraftKings, and that is why it's the play of the day. Other than that, though, good luck to all of you and respect the best today. Bye, everybody.